forget to hit the like button and subscribe with post notification turned on. Enjoy the video! Hi guys! In today's video, I'm so excited because we're going to be making a Father's Day special. Honey in with gravy. It's going to be so delicious. So first, you're going to need some paneer, which I have right here. It's really delicious. You're going to need one tomato, or you can use two, and some lemon or lime and got lime, garlic, ginger, and one red chili right here, a spoon, a spatula, and two bowls. So I've got one bowl here, and I've got another bowl right here. For flavoring, you're going to need salt, and for the gravy, you're going to need a little bit of water. So first, we're going to start off by cutting the paneer. First, we're just going to cut it this way. So I'm just going to cut it like this, very slowly. Okay, so it should be like this thick. And you're going to do that till you've got like four or five squares. Okay, you guys, so I've cut up all my like squares. So I've got like two, four, and I've got six. So the next step is, one sec, I'm just gonna pile them up right here. So next step is you're gonna cut it like this. So you're just gonna cut it like that, okay? Once you're done cutting it like that, you're just going to cut it about like right in there or half or you can try and make three pieces. So then once you cut it in half or three pieces, you will have this. I'm just going to cut mine a little bit smaller, right like so. And it should look like this. So now you're going to do that for the rest of your paneer. Okay guys, so I am done cutting up my paneer. And if you're wondering where is it, it is right here. I actually shifted it to this clear bowl with my spatula in it. I really like how I cut it. It actually looks very good. So once you're done, your paneer should look like this. You can just like mix, mix it around and stuff. Now we're gonna work on our gravy. So the first step is cut up our tomatoes. I'm just gonna move that so you can see. And you're just gonna cut it in the center first. Cut it in the center, and then you would cut it in half, and then cut it in the side. If you don't want to mean, I'll show you in a sec. Okay, guys. So what I meant by that is, first, once you're done cutting in half, you're gonna cut it this half in well, whichever half you want, in half again, like this. So now you're gonna cut your other half in half again. So you will have four slices. So you're just going to do that for the rest of your tomatoes. Okay guys, so once your tomatoes are cut just like this, just like that, you're just going to open up your blender, which I have mine right here. Here's my blender, I'm just going to put it back on its half. So you're just going to secure your blender in place. Then here I have some water, I forgot to mention this, but you do need this. You're literally going to pour like a little bit. Yeah, that should be good. And you're just going to throw in your tomatoes, just like so. And throw in your tomatoes. Now, oh, sorry, I can't just, okay. So now that I've got all my tomatoes in, you're just going to put a little bit more water, like so. And now you're going to add in some salt so it tastes very good and flavorful. So you're going to add some salt in it. Next, you're going to add your garlic, ginger, and one chili in it as well. And you're going to blend it. So you're going to put your blender cap on top, just like so. And you're just going to blend it. And if you find that your tomatoes are not moving, you can like take them out like this. And you can just like squeeze them and mush them up a little bit. Just mush them up a little bit so that they will blend more. And you can add some more water. And then you're just going to blend it till it get, becomes this 
nice liquid that is good for marinating your paneer. Guys, when you're blending, you can also use some chili powder and pepper. I'm not going to add too much of this because I don't want my gravy to be flaming hot, but feel free to make yours flaming hot if you'd like. I'm only going to add in a little bit, as I said. Okay, that should be a little bit. And now I'm going to add in my pepper. I like pepper because it makes it spicy but not on fire. So I'm going to add in some pepper. I'm going to add it in. Now I'll see you guys when it's blended. Okay guys, I am done blending. Here it is. Also, if you add a chili powder and pepper and a chili, it will smell fairly spicy, so just be aware of that. And mine is red, but if you use a green chili, it may turn out into a little bit more brownish color. But yeah, so mine's red. So I'm just gonna remove this spatula. I'm putting it in that bowl right there. And I'm just gonna pour it in, like so. Mmm, it's looking good. Also, I you don't have to use chili uh, chili powder or pepper. I just do that for more spice. Okay, so now you're just gonna use your spatula and slowly just go like that. And now you're just gonna add in some lime or lemon. I've got about a quarter of it here. And you're just gonna squeeze it in to the paneer for flavor so that it, it's so that it enhances the flavor and makes it taste really good. I'm just gonna get, this like squeeze it so I can get all the lemon juice in there. I do really love lemon juice in this, so that's why I'm getting a lot of it in. Okay, so that should be good and you're just gonna use your spatula and carefully fold it just like this. So I'm just gonna like bring the like the gravy to the top and onto the paneer, just like so. This is gonna taste so good. And while we're here, we're just gonna add some more salt. Uh, let me just grab it. Okay, so you're just gonna put in a tiny bit more of the salt. And I'm just gonna add some more lemon because I love, love, love love lemon in my paneer. So let me just, oh, sorry, let me just like, like so and squeeze it in. Now we're just gonna keep on folding it. Just like this. You're gonna fold it so it's well incorporated into each other. Also guys, a good trick is to not just spin it in circles, is to go like back and bring it on top of each other just like this. I know it may be a little hard because these are like cubes, but you can try your best like I'm doing. I'm making this for Father's Day. It's one of my dad's favorites. I love this so much. It tastes amazing, you guys. I decided to make it because it's delicious. While we're here, I'm just gonna add some more pepper because I really just like didn't add enough in the gravy, so I'm just gonna, oh, oh wait, sorry. I sprinkle some all over the place like this. And if you don't wanna sneeze or into your food or just like get a uh, like nose and go like, then just get someone else to put in the pepper for you. So, I'm just gonna fold it all in so that the paneer gets like gravy on it, you know? So, I'm just gonna fold it in and I'll see you when it's all folded. Okay guys, so once you are done folding it, it should look like this. I think so, you guys. It should like catch on with your gravy, so it will look like this. I'm trying to get you guys the best view. Just like this, it'll look like that. So yeah.
Now you're just gonna fry this with some butter. Guys, you're gonna actually need two spoons. This one is gonna be for like picking up the paneer. The other one is gonna stir it. I'll see you at the frying station. Guys, when you're frying, the one you're gonna use to stir, you have to make sure it's not wet or else the oil will splatter and you can get hurt. Okay guys, so right now I am at the frying station. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn it on low heat. I'm just gonna put mine on number one. And you're gonna need some butter and your paneer and two spoons as I said earlier. So I'm just gonna, I've got a big block here, so I'm just gonna cut it so I can keep on adding on. So you're just gonna cut it, like so. Okay, now I'm just gonna grab my block of butter and put it in, I'm just gonna surround the pan with it, just like so. Can you guys see it frying or melting? Let me just show you guys. So it is melting right there. So when you put your butter in, it should do that. Okay, so I'm just gonna spread it around the pan as I said. Now, once it's all over the pan, just grab your paneer using your spoon. Just like so, you guys. Be very careful, don't drop it. I'm just gonna put it in to it. Like so, and you're just going to fry it around the pan, and now I'm just going to stir it, I'm just going to crank up the heat a little bit more, be very careful, you don't want to fry it until it's all the way fried. I'll see you guys when it's fried. Okay guys, it's not fried yet, but a good tip is to like, once it's done, put it on high, and when it starts frying, go on low and start stirring it up like this. And I can't wait to eat this, you guys. I'll see you when it's fried. Okay guys, my panita is now cooked, and I'm just gonna put it in this bowl I have right here. Oh, I'm so excited. It literally smells so good. Then, oh, guys, be very careful, be very careful. So I'm just gonna very slowly scoop it, put it in. I made sure my heat was off when doing this, so I'm gonna put it in. Once, like, once it's done frying and you put it in the bowl, don't eat it yet because it's like still like frying, so just wait for it to cool, actually. Just gonna get some of this delicious gravy into the honey. Once your paneer is done, it'll look like this. One sec. It'll look like this. I topped up with some butter right there. It's gonna taste so amazing. You can serve this with rice. And once it's done frying, this is actually paneer tikka. So if I open my lid up that I have right here, I have got some, oh sorry you guys, I've got some fresh rice. Let me just point the camera at it. 